Hello and welcome. Now in this video, we're going to create a page from a pre-existing template inside of the Clockwork Funnels page editor. In order to do that, we're going to go to My Pages and we're going to click Create a New Page. When we get there, what you're going to notice is that there are going to be several categories, webinar pages, sales pages, thank you pages, opt-in pages, and then you can actually look at all templates, which is what you're seeing right now. The template that has no writing in it, that is actually a blank template, and we've covered that in another video. So in this case, let's say that you wanted to create an opt-in page. You'd actually go and click the button that says opt-in page. You'd be able to see all the opt-in pages there. And then we would then choose one. And so in this case, I'm going to click create a page. When I get there, my drag and drop editor is going to show up and I'm actually going to have a left side menu. I'm also going to have the template that's pre-existing. And what you're going to notice is when I hover into this box, you're going to notice that here on the right side, there are several elements that I can actually work with. I'm going to be able to work with my countdown clock. I'm going to be able to work with an autoresponder. I'm going to be able to add or change the background image. I'm going to be able to change the colors. Now, when I actually click inside of the template, you're going to notice that the WYSIWYG editor is here at the bottom. And this will allow me to center things. It will allow me to add text. It will allow me to do all of those things around this template. Okay, so those are the two areas that you're going to be able to alter the look of this template. So now, in order to get started, one of the things that we're going to do is we're going to want to change some of the writing here because obviously it's in Latin and we don't want that. So all we really got to do in order to get started is we're going to click this actual text and they're going to be able to make the changes inside of the template. And we're going to do that and again it's a fairly simple editor as you can see I'm just editing in real time right in front of you I can actually go to this and I can change the color and I can do this very same thing for this text when I go to the button in this case I'm actually going to get a menu that will allow me to alter the button in this case, we're not going to go through that in this video, but you can see that you'll have a button menu that you'll be able to work with. All of the text that you see here falls within the WYSIWYG editor, so if we want to take it out, we can. We can actually take out this text if we want to. And we can change any of the text that's already here. Okay, so now you, you'll see that the, the, this template is now taking on the look that we want it to take on. We can actually change some of the images in this template. In this particular case, there's a logo here. We can actually change those images with our own. In order to do that, we're going to work with our WYSIWYG editor down here. In fact, I'm just going to click on that image. I'm going to get rid of it. And then I'm going to insert an image in its place by going here to the image button, clicking that insert image. And then I'm going to be able to go into get an image from my hard drive in order to add to this template. When I add this image from my hard drive, one of the things you're going to notice right away is that it's way too big. So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to go and we're just going to click on this image. We're going to size it down by pulling the arrow down. And you'll actually see the dimensions as they are falling. Right? If you look at that little number there, it's, it's kind of going there. It's in black and white. And we're going to keep drawing this down until it fits the way we want it to fit. And we can actually <coughs> add an image to this template. Now, once we get rid of the other text, maybe we don't want.
if you have something to happen, like just what, what just happened and something goes away, you can always go back to undo that and then it'll come back. Okay, so we have a template, let's say, that we're pretty much satisfied with when we are complete with our, uh, with our updates. All we really need to do then is we need to save, enter a page name. In this particular case, I'm going to call this Clockwork Save. I'm going to click either Save Page or Save Template. And in this particular case, I'm going to click Save the Template. I'm also going to click Save Page. And then we're going to actually be able to go back to our page menu to find this page if we want to start working on it again. You'll notice there that I am back in my pages. And I can get there by going to, to either list my pages or I can go back from that menu. And then I'll be able to go over here to the edit button. And that's going to bring me right back to this page. Now, In other cases, you can add other elements to this template. Although, if you want to add and you want to really customize a template, it's best to use the blank one. Okay, so now we have completed a template, and this template is now ready for either our countdown clocks or our scarcity counter, which we will cover in another video. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another training video.